Hey guys, it's Ashton. And it's John. What up, guys? We are back again with another reaction video. This time we're reacting to foods, the foods that you are not allowed to eat in the United States of America. Did I sound like a robot for a second? Let's get. Let's to just get the right video. to the video. Oh. In case you didn't know already, the government plays a key role in the food that goes into our body. Yeah, they do. There might be some foreign delicacies Americans can't enjoy legally. Whether it's raw cheese consumed by maggots or mysterious brownies that make you really sleepy, here are foods you're not allowed to eat in the U.S. Can you take this? Or most other places, probably. You've seen the cheese one already, people. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, anywhere. this is American Eye bringing you another great video. Number 14, horse meat burgers. This photo here seems to be a normal looking burger, but it's not. There's even a fast food chain called Hot Horse in Slovenia that serves up these horse burgers all day. You couldn't pay you me a billion bucks to go there You buy it here in the Barely U.S., gross, but sometimes so it gets in the mix. Some restaurants have had legends spread that turned out to be true about them serving horse meat at U.S. locations, and it took DNA tests of the meat to prove it. Horse meat can often be less expensive than normal beef in some cases, and if you thought you were eating beef, it would still taste pretty good. Many people won't even notice the difference, but really? it's still illegal to own or distribute horse meat. You couldn't pay me all Number the money. Number 13, puffer fish. It's just wrong. They eat some pretty wild fish over in Japan sometimes, but this kill. kind can actually kill you. Puffer fish is illegal to harvest, catch, serve, or eat here in the U.S., and we should probably obey this law. Unless the puffer fish is properly prepared from an expert sushi chef, it has the potential to put customers into a coma-like state due to the toxin known as tetrodotoxin. If too much of this toxin that is found in the fish's liver is exposed, eating the sushi becomes fatal. Voodoo practitioners have used the pufferfish toxin during strange rituals that kept people in controlled comas for long periods of time. Dang. So watch out. Number 12, Haggis. Ugh. Haggis is a sheep's stomach stuffed with grinded liver, lungs, onions, and this oatmeal as well. It's a popular dish for Scottish people, but for us Americans, the idea of eating grinded organs is kind of odd. You can't eat this in the U.S. because it's banned here by the FDA. God. The main reason the European customary dish can't make it here is because of the fact that it contains sheep lungs, which is the legal ingredient. If you gotta do it, just take a quick trip over to the U.K. Number 11, sassafras oil. Sassafras. Have you ever wondered why root beer was actually called root beer in the first place? Are roots really an ingredient in this soda, or what's the deal? Well, it turns out, a long time ago, before 1960, sassafras was the ingredient used to give root beer its unique flavor. It turned out that it caused cancer and was linked to kidney and liver damage Dang. among those who consumed it. Most root beers in modern times have an artificial flavor that give it that distinct taste. Sassafras has also been used as a spice in Louisiana Creole cooking. But also, you should keep in mind that it's the key ingredient in a street drug known as molly, which has caused illegal harvesting of this tree in Southeast Asia. Dang. Number 10, absinthe. There's no other alcoholic beverage quite as mysterious as absinthe, and you might be wondering why it's banned in some places. In 1905, a man by the name of John Lanfray committed some horrific crimes after he drank himself to the point of insanity. The drink contains a special ingredient from wormwood, which is known to slow down reaction time, reduce concentration, and causes auditory and visual hallucinations. The compound known as thujone is often extracted, but the bottle of absinthe is illegal if it contains that ingredient. You can still buy absinthe in the U.S., but it won't be the good stuff that you can get in Europe that might make you trip out. Number 9, Foie Gras. This delicacy is made from the livers of force-fed geese or ducks. The liver basically becomes diseased, and many regard this as a cruel treatment to animals. The birds can be force-fed anywhere from 12 to 17 days straight. Many describe That's the flavor so as being buttery, Girl. rich, and delicate. Although some countries have banned it, it remains a protected cultural menu item in France. A normal duck's liver weighs about 50 grams, but after being fed a steady diet of grains, it weighs a minimum of 300 grams before it's sold. Cruel or not is your opinion, but this is still a pretty bizarre food. You can see in this photo on the left how a foie gras liver appears before it's processed. It's been banned in the state of California and is quite difficult to find unless you're at a fancy restaurant. Good. Numerous countries put an embargo on this, such as Denmark, Finland, Germany, Norway, and the UK. Number 8. Shark fin. 
The most expensive soup in the world is known as Buddha jumps over the wall, which almost sounds like some type of code or expression. But it's actually a soup served in London that contains the controversial shark fin ingredient, which is a delicacy in China. It involves the cruel process of cutting off the dorsal fin of a shark, normally while it's still alive. Shark fin soup is illegal to import to the U.S. In the year 2000, Bill Clinton signed the Shark Finning Prohibition Act, which banned any fishing vessel within international waters from finning sharks, as well as the importation of shark fins. Obama signed the Shark Conservation Act in order to close up any loopholes from the previous act. Despite these laws, if something is in demand, people are going to try to find a way to sell it. It seems to be on the secret menu at some Chinese restaurants across the country, and you can probably find it on the black market. Number 7. Iranian Beluga Caviar If you've ever tried caviar before, you probably didn't come across the most expensive stuff, which is Iranian Beluga Caviar. It's been dubbed by the Guinness World Record books as the most expensive food. If you are somehow able to get a hold of beluga caviar, which originates from the Caspian and Black Seas, be ready to fork up the price. Many countries have banned this substance, meaning that if you're trying to live like an Iranian prince with loads of caviar, you have to be willing to fork out $16,000 for a full pound. The beluga caviar isn't actually found from beluga whales at all. In fact, they come from what's known as the beluga sturgeon, which is actually a really large fish that is now critically endangered. Wow. What's kind of weird about this is that no one wants the fish, just the eggs. The U.S. probably doesn't want any imports from Iran either in any case, and taking the eggs from an endangered species just kind of seems messed up. Yeah, so was... those are all the babies. Number six, eating. Mirabelle Plum. Don't get caught acting suspicious around police if you got a few of these illegal plums stashed on you. These plums you see here are grown only in the Lorraine region of France, and people from the U.S. won't get to taste them unless they travel to Western Europe. You're probably thinking, what's the big deal? They're just some plums for crying out loud, not endangered species or anything. It's somewhat of a mystery why exactly they're banned, but the answer seems to come down to money, of course. In order to protect the financial income of the eastern province in France, most countries have agreed not to sell them. It's a little bit similar to how we have the differences between champagne and sparkling wine. Whatever the reason exactly might be, you're not allowed to eat them, because we said so. Number five, unpasteurized milk. Most of the milk we drink and the cheese we eat must go through a process known as pasteurization first before we can consume it. The process was introduced by Louis Pasteur in the 1960s and this kills the bacteria and other microbes which would be harmful for consumption. Not only that, but this allows it to be stored on the shelf longer. Although some states have allowed the sale of raw milk, 17 states have banned it. Those who are in favor of non-pasteurization typically don't live in the city and claim that milk loses many of its nutrients once it goes through the process. But those who claim pasteurized milk is the way to go state that too many diseases are spread from just raw milk. In any case, it's probably best just not to drink raw milk unless it's from the mom to the offspring. Number 4. Lazy Cakes These cakes are banned in the state of Arkansas, and strangely enough, right. they might actually make you feel lazy. Brownies are laced with melatonin and are known to cause severe drowsiness. Oh, melatonin, melatonin is often found as an over-the-counter sleep supplement and typically isn't found in your food. Rumors went on full effect when they started saying that people put in some type of synthetic cannabis substance in there. But in any case, they will probably make you sleepy. Many people who sell them don't actually realize that they're not your average brownie, and you kind of have to read the fine print to find out. Number 3. Pig's Blood Cake uh, Who I on earth would eat down. something that sounds this horrifying? Pig's Blood Cake has been banned in the U.S. due to sanitary reasons, and whatever other reasons they find <coughs> are fine by me. No need to guess what the secret ingredient is in this one. It's basically like a street delicacy food that's been made with soy broth, sticky rice, and oh yeah, pig's blood. Other ingredients might be used to coat the deep-fried pig's blood on a stick, but once you eat it, you have to live with yourself. Supporters of the treat claim that there is no sanitary issues with the preparation process, but it's still banned here nonetheless. That is so gross. Mm -hmm. Number 2. Conch Queen This beautiful shellfish becomes actually pretty tasty once you open it I up and eat it. Eat that anyway. The Conch Queen is a banned food in the U.S. to import, mostly because overfishing threatens its existence. It's actually more like a giant sea snail, which has a very sturdy shell. The Caribbean is a main exporter of conch meat to the U.S., and demand for it is quite high. And number one, purple mangosteen. One forbidden fruit that you probably shouldn't eat, or should at least be aware of, is the purple mangosteen. This highly sought-after fruit, which is a delicacy in Thailand, must be completely destroyed if it's found in the U.S. 
The problem isn't that it's a rare fruit or anything, but the goal here is to keep the Asian fruit fly out. This pesky insect is responsible for complete destruction of some crops. Wow. The tropical species has already wreaked havoc on the state of Florida, and we don't want this thing in our country. It's been notorious for attacking over 400 different species of fruits and vegetables. Wow. Dang. Dang, so, like, how do those not get, he like, come here anyway? I don't know, we must just not have fruit that they like, or have the, uh, Because, wouldn't they be able to... Yeah, wouldn't they be able to come over here easily? You'd I mean, think they so, fly, yeah. so that's kind of weird. I don't know. I think they would, but I guess they just like that certain fruit or travel through it, or maybe they can't. I don't know. What's the word for it? Travel here? Multiply without that fruit. Breed. I don't know. Asexually reproduce. <laughs> I don't know if they do plagues. Oh, it feels good to stretch. Yeah, it does. Anyway, guys, if you like that video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.